Hey, y'all. Hey, this is your girl, Miss Trina with Chat with Trina. And I'm here at J Durham Lounge at the beautiful Brown Affair hosted by Mr. DeLeon. I'm here chatting it up with the honorees of the evening who have businesses, work in the community. So take a peek at some of these ladies and make sure you check out their businesses because that's what it's all about. I'm here um, working as the as Chat with Trina to chat it up with the various honorees that DeLeon is going to honor tonight. Once a month, he hosts this event uh, with different themes every month, and he honors different people who are entrepreneurs, have, you know, have their own businesses and do different things um, in the community, and just they're called the ones to watch on the north side. So it's once a month, and it's here at J. Durham, 14641 Gladebrook. And uh, there's food, not free food, you can buy food. And of course the bar is open, nine to 11, just so we'll be performing live. Um, what else, what else? And yeah, I will be back on live tonight a few times to, um, I will share my interviews with the honorees that we have tonight. So bye, if y'all can stop by and um, join in the celebration for these awesome, awesome ones to watch on the north side who are doing things for the community but also um some of them have their own businesses and they're just doing the damn thing okay but all right i guess my lighting is good so testing testing one two three and i'll see y'all in a bit bye <laughs> so this is miss trina with chat with trina again and tonight i am at the brown affair hosted by day leon our north side king um so he is every month he likes to represent and recognize and honor all of the people on the north side who are doing things, doing big things, owning businesses, helping the community. So that's what he does once a month. And he invites me out to come out and chat with them. And I'm so excited every month um, to meet some wonderful people. But let me just tell you, it is the Brown Affair here at J. Durham at 14641 Gladebrook in 1960, 25 and up. It is for the grown and sexy, right? That means no baseball caps, no shorts for men, no athletic wear, no t-shirts. We, we grown and we wearing clothes, okay? We are ready to get started with our first one to watch from the north side. Hey, hey, hey. Hello. How are you? What's your name? Hello, my name is Sandra Architrag. I go by Sandy Did It. Sandy Did It. I love that. That's so cute. Um, yeah. How long have you been doing hair? I've been doing hair for about 10 years. Okay, okay. Yeah. And what's the name of your shop or do you have your name or just use your name? Sandy? Uh, I just use Sandy Did It. Okay. Um, right now I'm was renting out a private space okay, uh, okay. Yeah, on Imperial Valley, but I do travel out for travel services. I do travel outside of Houston as okay, well. Okay, okay. Cool. So what, what do you do with hair? Like, do you braid? Do you do weaves? What do you do? Um, I really do it all, but I mainly focus on natural hair. And I just... I wanna. My main thing is to take care of your hair, make sure gotcha. it's healthy, okay. and then adding the extensions and okay. the braids. Because get your hair, hair in, yeah. Getting, yeah, your hair yeah. isn't healthy. There's no point of getting protective styles exactly. if it's, it's, if not, it's not protecting not it. Protecting it already. Yeah. You're just spending your money. You're just spending your money and just faking it. Yeah. Because yeah. I said I'm, I'm 52. I said when I turn 60, I'm taking all this off and I'm gonna go gray. Okay. <laughs> and I'll be cute. You look good. But yeah, thank you. Thank you very much. Um. So um. What. Did you feel think about it when DeLeon called you and told you you were going to be honored tonight? Honestly, um, at the time I got the message, like I was going through like a funk. Like, uh -huh. I hadn't had like a client like all week, uh -huh. and like, I just really uh -huh. felt like my business wasn't like yeah. nobody cared. And then I get like, that. I, like on the I was on the verge of like just Man, forget leaving. it. Yeah, uh -huh. like, he sent it to, like maybe like five minutes after like oh, I finished. Oh, you see how like, things so work? Yeah, I was like, yeah. okay, well maybe I'll okay, just God, I, like, you know somebody's what I mean? Watching. I'll be like, okay, God, I see you, okay, I see you. I can't give up yeah, on the yeah, game. Yeah, yeah, so. yeah. Oh, that's wonderful. Yeah. I know that feels good because sometimes things come like right at that time that you yeah. need it. So, and I just want to say just from my, from my side is that sometimes you do, you feel like, you know what? Nobody's paying attention to me. Mm -hmm. Nobody, you know, I'm not getting the people, the clients I want. Not, and then something always comes mm -hmm. through to help you, to lift you out of that. So what do you enjoy about doing hair? Um, the transformation, like, from, like, how they came in to how they leave. And yeah. seeing the joy on their face. Yeah, yeah. Their hair looks good. They feel good. They feel good. And if your hair looks I'm telling you, because yeah. mine ain't right, I'll be like, oh, gosh, Don't I'm having a horrible no day. Way. Yes, yes, yes. So, um, and I hear that from a lot of people, even essence I can't say the word. Um, people who do the lashes, they say they love, at the end of the day, somebody comes in sad and they mm -hmm. go out looking good and feeling good. So, yeah. Um, is there anything you want to mention about your business to us? Um, right now, I am in the process of creating a pre poo um, conditioning treatment. Okay. Um, it's a strict and grow treatment I've used for myself like for years. Okay. I normally keep my hair like cut low. Okay. Like, just, well, I use the product and it makes my hair thicker, stronger, and it grows really fast. Okay. And okay. so 
I want to start selling it and get it on the market because I know Ooh. it's good for a lot of fair types because I don't just use it for myself. I use it for my kids. Okay. I use it for my, my mom, other family members use it in it all. Oh, really? It helps select a lot of different hair types. Okay, so. okay. Well, I'm going to give a plug because my daughter owns an online mm -hmm. beauty supply oh, okay. and it's called Ebony and Maine. So you make sure you get in touch with her. Okay. I'll make sure I'll give you a card because she, it's something that she, and it's not, she doesn't do the... She has the, the inventory there at home, and okay. she delivers. It takes one, like, like Amazon. Oh, okay. But and she's a young, black, African-American doing things, so we'll have to hook you up. Oh, yes, okay, maybe you get there, you. get on her website, and she can mm -hmm. sell the products. Um, well, y'all, um, thank uh, congratulations thank for you. being who wants to watch, thank and you. I can't wait to see you get your award tonight. Thank so you. thank you, and it was so nice to meet you. Nice to meet see, you isn't it nice we can hug now? <laughs> you know, so, all right, have a good night. You thank too. you so much. Thank good luck you. and congratulations. Hey, it is Miss Trina with Chat with Trina again, and I have another one to watch on the north side. So let's get to it and tell them who you are. Introduce yourself. Hi, everybody. I am Tanisha Maxey, owner of Tencent's Bath and Body. We are an all-natural company who specializes in uh, natural bath and body products as well as wellness. Okay, say the name of it again. Ten cents bath and body. Ten is it ten cent? Ten cents. I mean, but is it ten cents to buy my buy yourself? Oh no! no. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think so, but I thought I'd try. I thought I'd try. Yes, you open the door. Uh, I'm like, ten cents. I can sweep up on this ten cent. Like the paparazzi jewelry is five dollars. I can sweep right, up. Right. Right. Um, so, what made you go into this business? Um, actually, I was looking for a better product for my children. My oh. my my daughter suffered with acne, okay. and my son had like eczema and, and sensitive skin. So I wanted a, a bath soap that would help um, their skin. Yeah. So I made it myself. Wow, like Carol's daughter almost. Yeah, yeah. Kind of. yeah. That's what she's gonna be Carol's daughter next. She gonna we. I'm calling it right now. I'm, I'm speaking daughter, it. I'm speaking yeah. it to existence. <laughs> um, so how long have you been doing it? Um, this is my sixth year. And so when you did that, like what made you literally just step out there? And I ask you that so that some of those people that are thinking about going into business on their own, they can understand that sometimes you have to just make the You move. just have to jump. And actually to be to be really crazy, I was working um at a at a bank in the banking field and my husband sent me Steve Harvey's jump. He was like, You have so much potential. Yeah. Listen to this and let me know how you feel. And it's like I, I listened to the video. Uh -huh. And I was like, I'm ready to quit. And he was like, you wow. have my full support. Wow. And that was it. So on my checklist for my husband, my future husband, I'm going to need you to be able to tell me to jump. Show me a video okay. like that and support me. That is good. That's a good man. And I'm joking, y'all, but you know, yeah. It's, that's, that's, that's awesome. And that's really important, too. I was telling a young lady earlier that having a good support system Absolutely. is, like, so, so important for you to, to, to do this as well. Absolutely. What do your kids think? They love it. They're, they, I think they're like some of my biggest fans. They use the products and they're always looking for it because they can see the difference. So, um, my husband and I are both entrepreneurs, so we're kind of like letting you know, letting them watch us do that. Gotcha. Hopefully, they'll take they'll the same. Yeah, yeah yes, because we need we need more of that yeah. working for ourselves. Um, and what? The products, how did you go about finding the products? You have to test different ones. How did you even? Um, so my soap recipes, because that's mainly what we do, is uh, bar soaps that are all natural. It's my own recipe. It's something that I had to take and do the research and find out what, what oils and what essential oils work best with our type of skin. Right, right. And so it, it, was, it was a labor of love, and I just had to take the time and formulate it. And, you know, okay, it's just... Okay. And who are your clients? All ages, or um, they are um, ranging uh, ranging from I have like baby products, uh, so okay. I have some um, baby clients, and then all the way up to whoever has skin. I mean, it's just a good way to take care of your skin. And um, do you go to vendor events? How do you get the word out? I do. I do have a website. Okay. Okay. Um, Tencents.com. I also uh, go to vendor events. Okay. We do pop up shops all the okay, time. That type okay. Of thing. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. So, what did you think when you got the call from Delion that she was going to honor you tonight? I was excited. Delion is a really good friend of mine, yes. and he's a big supporter of my business, mm -hmm. and I is. So, I was really excited. Awesome. Awesome. Uh, yeah. You won't believe there were three ladies tonight back to back that said they thought it was a. Um, they had. They didn't know that. Yeah. So they. Were, thought it was a hoax. It was oh, so wow. funny. Well, I had to go look at it because I'm, yeah. if 
that was so funny. I hadn't had that before, so it was kind of funny. That's why I had to ask you too. So, but De Leon is a great supporter, yes, great yes, supporter. Yes. Um, and I call him the king of the north side. He's yes, always yes. holding down the north side, and not many of them hold us down. But uh, that's true. He got us. He got yeah. us. So thank you so much. And if you have any last words, like say your website again. If you're on social media, let everybody know. Sure. I'm just thankful to be here. Um, I am Tanisha with Ten Cents Bath and Body. Um, you can find us on the website www.tencents.com. We are on Instagram and Facebook, Ten Cents Bath and Body. And that's about it. Thank you so much. And yes, we thank her for that because we do need to have some of our own product. People yes. that know what we need for our skin. Yes. Well, congratulations, and I'll see you later on. We'll get ready to give you your award tonight. Yes, so thank you. Congratulations so much. for being a one to watch on our side. Thank you. We are here with tell them your name. Ashley. Ashley, and what 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 do you do, Ashley? I do nails. Oh, I see your pretty nails. And orange is one of my favorite colors. Thank you. So how long have you been doing nails? Two years this month. Okay, so this was just in time. Yes. So um, what made you start doing nails? I like to have my nails done. And when, <laughs> when COVID happened, I just knew that yeah. nail shops was closing uh -huh. and I had to do you something. You had to figure something I out. Figure I went bald out. during COVID. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and my daughter did the press yeah. the press oh, nails. No, yeah, I couldn't yeah. do that. So what, what area are you in? I know you're north side, but mm -hmm. what area on the north side? Oh, okay, so you're right down the street from me. I'm like, we're like Oak Forest, Oak okay. Forest, Ship Parterres, all that. Um, so we have, to, we have to look you up. Um, so do you get a lot of clients um, that are African-American? I do, but majority of my clients are not from Houston. Really? Yeah. Did they, they come here? They move here. It's like I get people from Chicago. Yeah. I get people from Atlanta, California. How do they find out about your, your business? I post, like, crazy yeah yeah i do you gotta talk about your business got to talk about your business yes i saw that on uh tiktok <laughs> <laughs> so um what and you started doing nails because of COVID. what happened with covid and then once covid passed by you just decided to start doing it for others doing it, yeah. okay do you um do you find that well, those people that are out of town have to be there are they african-american so and the reason why I asked that, the reason why I asked that is because we are so weird about right. getting our nails done. Right, from, right, right. And that's from, what made me ask that yeah. question. So, um, some of them are. Mm -hmm. Most of them. You prove yeah. them wrong, though. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, there you go. So do you do toes, too? No, 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 no. I thought I'd go ahead and ask that. Not gonna touch Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, I thought I'd ask that. I just throw that out there. Um, so what was I gonna ask? So what is the hardest part about doing other people's nails? The hardest part, I would say, them being on the phone. Really? Yes. Being on the phone or doing something with their Cause phone. Because they like, moving their hands. Yes, they doing a lot. Yeah. That's me. That's me. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, so what do they, do you have to tell them or you just ignore or you try to make it? Yeah, I really don't. Because they never going to be crooked. Then they're going to be bad. I, um, I have like a little stand, so I have them put their arm up. So oh, it's like. Oh, that little they thing. Just, yeah, yes. they just be relaxing right okay. there. Yeah. I try not to use it at first because things be like it's kind of uncomfortable. Gotcha. But gotcha. once you get to be on that phone, phone like, I got to like, sit your it. arm right I there. I get yeah. it. Okay. So what about, so are you doing it at your home? Do you have a home front or are you doing it out of home? My home. Okay. Okay. So what, uh, I was going to ask you, what did you think when De Leon called to say he was going to honor you? It was a scam. <laughs> See, I told y'all. Like, we've had three people tonight that said that, so you number four. <laughs> so you didn't know De Leon then? No. Okay, okay. So somebody nominated you, which is so cool. I know. That's what I was like. You love that. Yeah. yeah. That's always good when somebody recognizes you and you don't know where it came from. Right. Which uh, another guest tonight talked, we, we talked about that's why customer service is so important. That's why treat just being a simple good to people because it's word of mouth all right, the time. Right. Because even though you are posting, someone's going to tell somebody and that one customer that come through that's going to be mad, even though they was on the phone, that's why you're mm -hmm. there. They're going to, you know, it miss, miss you. Right. So yeah, just being good. And guys, that goes such a long way. Just being nice to your customers, your clients, patrons, yeah. whatever you have. Uh, just being nice is how the word gets around too, in a positive way. Um, so yeah, so how did you figure out Daylon wasn't a scam? He asked the call. Oh, okay. He, he was like, um, <laughs> I'm gonna tell what is a good time to call, and I missed the call. I missed the call on purpose because I was like, 
I don't know what I don't know. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then he texted and was like, you know, give me a call back at your earliest convenience. And I was like, okay, I'm going to call now. Uh -huh. And I called and we talked. And that's when you were going from there. Yeah. yeah. Did you go to his page too? Mm -hmm. I, I did. did. Okay, a lot of people went to his page. I had yeah. to find out. Yeah. yeah. He's a good one to know in me. He's very uh, motivating, inspirational, and he will always have your back. I, I, I can say that. I can speak to that on a uh, personal level. Well, guys. Go ahead and give your last words. Tell them to come. Give them your uh, your <laughs> elevator speech and tell them who you are again and come to I'm see you. Ashley, come see me. My Instagram is Fly Ash Nails, all one word, yes. and nails is with a Z. Fly Ash Nails with a Z. Okay, yes. that's easy to remember. Y'all, let's get out there and let's support Miss Ashley. So say it again. Fly, Fly Ash, Ash nails. nails with a Z. With a Z. Nails with a Z. And she is on the north side, y'all. Yes. So let's make sure that we support this young black entrepreneur. And um, guys, remember we are here at J Dream Lounge at the beautiful Brown Affair. And it is a grown and sexy party. We 25 and up. We're not wearing no house. No, I said house shoes. We <laughs> wear no tennis shoes. We're not not wearing no ball caps, we ain't wearing no shorts, we ain't wearing no t-shirts. We dressing up, we looking cute tonight, yes, right? Yes. yes, grown and sexy. Yes. Thanks for all you do, Daddy On, and we'll see y'all in a little bit with our next ones to watch. And congratulations on your thank honor you, tonight. Thank, thank you, thank you, thank you. I am attending the beautiful brown party hosted by my friend and mentor, Mr. Dalion, and we are celebrating the ones to watch. And this is every month um, he hosts an event with different things, and he celebrates people, women, men, and I haven't had any men tonight. But anyway, men and women who are doing the damn thing on the north side of town, businesses, doing stuff in the community. He just likes to represent and let us know here on the north side that we, we do stuff too. So. <laughs> so, how are you doing? I'm good, how are you? Fine, thank you. What's your name? Alexia Mitchell. My business is Lavish Aesthetics LLC. Um, I specialize in classic, hybrid, volume, mega volume. Um, so, I basically do lashes, get the girls slain. Yes, okay. And what do you like about doing what you do? Um, so... Honestly, what made me start doing what I do is because I'm one of those girls I like to keep myself looking good, high maintenance. Right. So um, originally my thought process was, what can I do to be able to give that same feeling off to other women? Gotcha. So that's that's why I'm passionate about it. I love to be able to impact a woman, make a woman Definitely. feel beautiful about herself. That's yeah. really why I love doing lashes. Right, right. So when they get up out of your chair or wherever, laying down, whatever you do to them. It's the smiles. Yes. It's the, oh my God, mm -hmm. they feel beautiful. Mm -hmm. They feel like they're in their own body. Definitely. So Definitely. Yes, they walk in, sad, but they walk out with a, with a well, glamorous swagger. Yes, 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 yes. yes. So how long have you been doing it? Um, so I actually started in January. <laughs> Oh, um, and I just was able to get my suite over this weekend. So okay. when I first started, I was doing lashes out of a storage unit. Oh, wow. Yes. Was it hot? Yes. Okay, because I was thinking yes. it's hot. It's not like a, yes, I, was, it I used was to work hot. out in a storage unit mm -hmm. right place, and it was very hot. Very hot. Okay. Yes, okay. okay. Well, that's good. You know, sometimes you have to do stuff that's uncomfortable till you can get to the next step. Exactly. So that's really, really good. So what client, I mean, your clientele, are they young, all ages? What? Um. So I actually take pride in being able to say that most of my consistent clients are, you know, older women. Really? Um, I do have some young clients around my age, but honestly, I love the fact that I have older women as clients because I'm able to network with them and able to learn new things from you know other women that experience different cultures Definitely. and different experiences as well too but yeah most of my clients are older women oh that's cool yes, that's cool um and what did you think when Dalian called you to be honored tonight what did you think um at first I was like oh my god who honored little old me like <laughs> yeah. um I was very honored though I was like wow this is you know a huge accomplishment a huge step for me and being able to network with Definitely. other people Definitely. um and get my business name out there as well too yeah and motivated you because yes, sometimes how you have those days where you feel like I don't know what they work in some days you may not have any bookings, some days you may have one or two, you know, you got to always keep yourself motivated, keep yourself going no matter what, because you got to see the envision, the envision at the end of the day. So that's always where I'm headed. Okay, awesome. So what are, what are your future plans? Um, so eventually I do want to able, be able to add on waxing services and facials, body contouring as well too. Okay. So um, I'm working on that. Um, in my suite right now, I'm adding on an MUA and also an in-hair stylist. Um, What's an MUA? Um, a makeup artist. Oh. Child. Yes, ma'am. Look, look at me. Showing my age. I don't know what it is. Okay. Um, so I do plan on adding on a, um, a makeup artist and also a braider and a soft lock uh, person in my suite as well, too. So that's the next steps. Okay. Yes, do you ever think about owning your own nice salon? Yes, ma'am. I do have visions to be able to, you know, open up my own storefront or gotcha. own salon and be able to have other people working in there as well, okay. too. Okay. Well, that is that is really, really good. Well, congratulations on that. Thank and, you. Um, I wish you the best. Um, 
And I, we already talked about they like everybody else before you, three people before you thought it was a hoax or a prank. Really? I thought that was so funny. Oh my god! So funny. And I, I, I can't say out. when I first when when I first read the message, I was like, is this real? <laughs> and then I went and started checking out his page, and I was yeah. like, oh, okay, who yeah. who nominated me? Exactly, exactly, exactly. Like, and it's, me and one of the other young ladies were saying, you know, you just never know who's watching. That's why it's mm -hmm. important to provide great customer service. Always. Be nice to people. Just be good. It's just simple. Just be good to people. Exactly. Your name. That's a lot of the advertising, to be honest mm -hmm. with you. It's people word of mouth. So if you, Carrying your way. Carrying your way. Yes, ma'am. Well, guys, thank y'all for watching. And we still have some more ones to watch coming. And I'm Brittany. This is Brittany. What was Lexi. It? Lexi. <laughs> so y'all know. Y'all know. Oh, y'all know I can't remember stuff, right? So, Lexi. Give it up to Lexi for being one to a one to watch honoree tonight, and congratulations on Thank being you honored so much. tonight. Brandy Babino. Brad, Brandy Babino, tell us about your business. I am a salon owner. Uh, my business is actually located in um, Third Ward, Houston, Texas. Uh, we service hair, nails, and makeup. Oh wow! So how long have you had your business? Um, I've been in business since about 2014. Okay. 2014. Okay, okay. But we recently relocated, so now we're like literally right around the corner from 5015. Oh, okay, so you're on, on Almeida. Are yes. you on Almeida? Okay, okay, okay. So what kind of, what do you guys do? do you, are you a full service salon? We are. We are a full service salon and we service hair, nails, and makeup. We're okay. trying to incorporate lashes as well. Okay, okay. So um, what made you get into hair? Um, I've been doing hair on and off since I was younger. I've been doing makeup for like seven years. Um, I've been doing nails for three and a half, four years. Okay, okay. And did beauty, the, the beautician life just come naturally to you? Or? Yeah, I mean, since I was little, I played in my mom's makeup and I used to color my own hair when I was younger. So this was always something that I did okay. growing up. Now you're making money, <laughs> money for it. Now I'm making money for it, So how many other, do you have like a um, sweets or is it just one? It's a salon. Okay. It's a um, storefront and okay. we do have other nail techs. Um, we have another hairstylist and other makeup artists as well. Okay. Over here, and close the door a little bit. Okay. Um, so your Instagram? Uh, my Instagram handle is at uh, Diva Beauty Inc. underscore. Um, you guys can follow me on uh, Diva Beauty Inc. underscore, and my Facebook handle is um, Brandy Babino. Okay, Miss Brandy. So, what did you think when Dalia called to recognize and honor you? What did you think? I was excited. You okay? Because everybody else like they thought it was a scam. I thought. It was <laughs> So you were honored. Thank you. Good, yeah. good, good. Dalian is a great guy. Um, mm -hmm. He actually, I've known him like 15 years, so he's a good person. You know, have you known him before this? No, actually, I haven't. I mean, we were friends on social media, right. but I don't know him personally. Okay, okay. Well, you'll get to know him now. <laughs> so, guys, I want to make sure that you guys take her say your Instagram one more time, and um, then so we can check uh, it out. Diva Beauty Inc. Mm -hmm. underscore. And where is your? What's the address of your business? On um, 2528 Calumet okay. Street, Houston, Texas 77004. And it's close to 5015. Yes, right around. <laughs> Corner faces right before you guys oh, go yeah. and sign up. You can come get your yeah, go get yeah, yeah go get your get, your, get your face <laughs> before you go to fifty fifteen. Or what's the other you have faces faces too? Yeah, it's over there mm -hmm. as well. Yeah, okay. turkey leg hood. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, guys, thank y'all for tuning in and thank you so much. Hey, hello, 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 everybody. This is Miss Trina again. Y'all gonna be tired of me, but it's okay because it's a good cause. We are at the beautiful brown party hosted by Dayleon, and we here at J Durham Lounge. 14641 Glade Brook in 1960. And this is the ones to watch that he has every single month to where he recognizes people doing the damn thing here on the north side of town. You know they always say in the south side doing everything. They do everything on right. the But we the north side and we do stuff over here too. So tonight I am I, my next guest is tell us who you are. Hi everybody, my name is Truly is Jay Price and I'm a freelance makeup artist here in Houston, Texas. Awesome! So what made you start doing makeup? Um, honestly, I was a dropout nursing student. I <laughs> literally like you I said dropped, so fast. dropout nursing student. Um, my husband was like, you know, why are you even trying to go to school? Makeup comes naturally. Yeah. Um I started taking on small jobs. I started to get more into it and I'm doing it full time. Awesome. So how long have you been doing it? Uh four years total. Really? Okay. Now what made you decide makeup? Did you play with makeup um, when you were little or? I've been playing with makeup since I was like <laughs> walking and talking before I was supposed to. Okay. So it just honestly came naturally. Okay. I can't do no hair, so I might as well do something else. Now you're the first person I've ever said say besides me. No I try to curl and be a little crimp. So mm -hmm. just like I just it just looks like this today, but we ain't doing no hair. Exactly. Mm -hmm. so I tried to do a little curly here, it fell out, but whatever, it's still cute. Right. Um, so um, 
was gonna choose. So do you are you a traveling makeup artist? Uh, okay, now yeah, I am, and then I have an in-home studio where uh, most of my personal clientele will come to my home. But on the weekends, um, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, I'm doing weddings. Oh, I was so gonna ask you guys. This is specialized in. So I asked specialize. them what about proms, and they said the weddings are the ones that I specialize in bridal. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. But do you get prom? I get everything. Oh, okay. Um, prom, uh, bridal, editorial. Um, oh, just about so pretty much dabbled in everything. Oh, well, what is a day in the what's like a Wednesday night in your Ooh, business? Girl, not a Wednesday. I didn't mean Wednesday night. I mean Wednesday. Wednesday, take a brush. You want to help? You want to help? I want to help. You know, I can Tell us how important it is to keep those makeup brushes clean. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes. 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 Consistently cleaning as you're with the client, okay. but then again, when you take that all of that home, you have to clean them properly, not just like throwing them in the washer and. And I just throw them. I just throw them back in my little bag. No, you have okay. to properly, properly sanitation means like um, cleaning them down with maybe some soap and then okay. spraying them with alcohol, okay. um, storing them in a, a dry place so they can just you know stay tidy, keep everything nice and neat. So if you don't mind, I'm gonna go a little bit deeper. Okay. Tell us, so you said we can take the makeup brush. Let's just say my my um, powder brush. I can take that and do a little soap on it. Like my also? What I recommend everybody do, they have this stuff called Zote. Okay. <laughs> it's a laundry bar. Um, okay. You can buy it from like your dollar store or Walmart. Uh -huh. um, rub it in your soap. Run it under hot water until your brush is not like dirty anymore. Uh -huh, you can uh -huh. see all the rain yes, coming yes. out. Spray it down with some alcohol. Rub it on a dry towel. Okay. Leave it out for it to dry. And the next day, you're pretty much good to go. Okay. Because now I have my brush. It's so soggy. It's, it's mm -hmm. like stuck you together. You probably for a year and you ain't washed it, girl. I tried to put up the water. <laughs> but y'all know what? It's, it's, some of my daughters have been all the time. It is really good. Take your makeup off at night. Yes, right? please do not damage your skin for a night for your makeup because it will, it will carry you on. You know, you be trying to sleep. Cute, cause like I get up in the morning, just clean my eyes. And it can be transition. I've had clients that want to sleep with their makeup on, and nothing gets on the sheets. Wow. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. Mine be Power makeup is very, very, very serious. Okay. Well, thank you for that. I, I hadn't even thought about asking that earlier tonight. <laughs> so, um, what did you think when Dayleon called to honor you? Girl, I was scared. I thought it was a scam. You the third person, <laughs> the third person to wrote it saying that. I was that. like, oh no, because you know the scam policy. This, this Girl, is consistent yeah. there. But uh -huh. I, I had actually, you know, I read it through. I went to the page. Uh -huh. You got to check. Some you got to check. You got to check. Um, but um, everything seemed pretty genuine once we were like going back and forth in uh -huh. the conversation. Uh -huh. So I was pretty excited. Definitely. <laughs> Yes, it's always good to be recognized, you know. I get, little, I get that little blue star on my paper. I really do. So every so, oh. every so often, I need somebody to say, "Girl, you doing it still? exactly?" You know? I never do. So yeah. I'm, I'm pretty yes. excited. I'm ready yes. to see what the night brings. Guys, yes. we are at the beautiful Brown Affair. You see her beautiful step back, step back, and turn, turn around, girl. Turn around and show them what you got. Say, look, that's cute. She's gonna give it to me because she's only gonna wear it tonight. Oh, and I'll she's gonna give it to me. <laughs> If you haven't found anywhere to go, Davion is bringing Day Night back to the north side. He's also recognizing us and what we do on the north side. If you say he's been doing it for over 10 years, so y'all come on out. And we are grown and sexy tonight. That means no baseball cap, no t-shirts, no, no shorts, tennis shoes. no tennis shoes. We come in here, we grown tonight, okay? But anyway, see y'all in a little bit. We got Trina with Chad with Trina, and I am so excited that I am here at the beautiful Brown Affair at Jay Durham, hosted by my friend, my mentor, Dayleon. He gives me this wonderful opportunity to come out and chat with the people that he's honoring at his event. Once a month, he honors several people, men, women, who are starting their own businesses, who've done things for the community, and I am so excited that he always invites me out to... Um, to be a part of his event. So thank you so much, Dayleon. Love you for life. Um, hey, how are you? Hey, how are you doing? Nice to meet you tonight. Nice to meet you too. So tell everybody who you are. Uh, my name is Dominique. I'm a uh, hairstylist from Cincinnati. I just moved here yeah, about, uh, yeah. a year ago now. So okay, yeah. okay. Little Houston. What made you come here? Uh, Not that no, we love Houston, Texas, you know, but I'm just saying. <laughs> I, uh, I sell wigs, make custom wigs, and I had a lot of orders already down here, and I knew oh. I wanted to leave, but just didn't know where. Gotcha. So, was a numbers thing. Okay. I okay. Saw what where was I was getting the most numbers. Gotcha. So. Getting more bang for the buck. Yes. Do you um have family here? No. I don't. Okay. Just me. Really? Yeah. I admire anybody that does that. That is so cool yeah, to me. Just me and my little boy. Okay. Boy. Oh, how old? He's six. Okay. Okay. Well, that's all you need, huh? Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so tell me how long you've been doing. Uh, what what do you do? What I'm is your business? I'm a cosmetologist. Okay. And I um have an online business where I sell wigs and custom bundles and stuff like that. Oh, awesome. Yeah. So do you? 
you do you install as well? Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Yeah, so you do it from home or do yeah, you? Yeah, I have a um, salon back home, but okay. I'm trying to work on the salon here. So. Okay. Well, just FYI, I just told other young Van, the lady that owns this, uh, mm -hmm. keep her mind she's thinking about turning this into a, uh, what do you call those things? The little, like a sweet mm -hmm. in here, which I told her that'd be cool. So okay. keep that in mind. Yeah. Keep that in mind. Yeah. Um, matter of fact, when you pass by and see she's a little bitty lady, just tap us and say, hey, I heard. Keep me in mind. Yeah. Um, so, what else look at it? What made you start doing hair? Um, I've been doing hair my whole life. My mom did hair, my grandma did hair, my aunt did hair. So I kind of grew up in it. And okay. I wanted to do makeup at first, and then I just kind of veered off back okay. into hair. So. Do you think you'll ever do the makeup in addition to the hair? <laughs> no. No. Okay. Not, okay. Yeah. And you know, sometimes when you find your niche, you should stick with stick it. Because so sometimes it. people try to do everything. So and it. And sometimes you don't have time. Like I, I work on set sometimes, and oh, I yeah. never have time Absolutely. to do hair yeah. and makeup at the definitely, same time. So. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Um, I was gonna say something else. So, what uh, work you're working out of your house? But do you travel? Mm -hmm. Okay, so yeah, you I have travel. two artists that I work with now. So oh, they, okay. Whatever events they have, they take me with them or oh, go out of town cool. and stuff like that. Yeah, so oh, I'm traveling that. a lot. Okay, yes. well, that's exciting. Yes, it is. Okay. Been tiring, but it's been but it's exciting. exciting. Yes. Do you ever yes. take your son with you, or no, you not leave him? He's okay. back home right now. Okay, so okay, till you yes. get settled and everything. Okay, yes. cool, cool, cool. I'm all up in all up in the world business. <laughs> it's okay, it's all up in our business. Um, so what are what is your typical day like in your business? Um, well, my week usually starts on a Tuesday because I don't work Sunday and Monday, so. um I do a few heads during the day, make my custom wigs during the evening hours around five okay. to ten, and then mm -hmm. that's it. You and that's it. Okay, okay. So what? Um, when Daily I called you to let you know you were gonna be recognized, what did you think? I was shocked. I thought it was a prank or a scam. Do, you know, this is, a, this is the first <laughs> night. I just do this every month with him. Well, before during COVID, of course we couldn't do it. But the other young lady before you, she said, "Girl, I thought it was a scam. I yeah. had to check it out." <laughs> when you called me, I'm like, "So wait." You want to give me something, right? <laughs> okay, you want to give me something. It's okay. Like, how much am I going to pay for real when I get there? What you said? Right? <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, but once you found out it was real. It was like like shocking because I only been here, like I said, a year. Right. So, it was like, dang. It's, it show you how much people watch exactly. you. Exactly. You know, so. Definitely. Like, you know, and I that's what it's called, wants to watch. Yes, you gotta Definitely. stay on your P's and Q's. Definitely. You never know who watches. You never know yes. who Someone told me that years ago, you never ever know who's watching. Or who, I saw a, um, a post today from someone that said, uh, actually LeBron James, it says, be careful how you treat people, because you'll never know who, who you're talking to. Yep. So, yeah, so. Okay, well, Damian is a wonderful person. He's a wonderful yes. person to be connected to. Yes. But how did you find out it was real? Uh, he called, called me. He called because okay. I didn't oh. respond back to the, oh. <laughs> to the some of the stuff. I was like, you know, but well, here's just my number. If this is real, you can reach out to me. Oh, and he okay. called and me. Anyone didn't call. And then uh, we had a conversation. I'm gotcha. like, oh, okay, oh, okay, this is real. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So. Yeah. He's our our um, north side king. So, okay. Yes, he definitely represents the north side, and we love him for that. But okay. it was so nice to meet you. Do you nice have any last you. words, like your uh, Instagram? Your oh social yes, media? you guys can follow me at Doll by Dom on everything. Doll by Dom on Facebook. Okay. Doll by Dom on Instagram and is it TikTok. Doll or Doll? Doll. Like you got dog. Oh, dog up. Yes, dog by dom. Okay, dog up by dom. dom. Yep. D O L L E D by dom. Okay, cool, yep. cool, cool, cool. Well, nice to meet nice you to meet and you congratulations too. on your honor tonight. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. Hi, my name is Brian Harris. I go by Amazing Bree. Okay. Is that the name of your business? What you call your yes, business? Um, Amazing Bree Hairstyles is the name of my Instagram, which I go by for hairstyling and booking. Okay. Yeah. So, how long have you been doing hair? I started doing other people hair in 2015, but as for myself, I've been planning my own hair. Okay. She said planning her own hair. Yeah. <laughs> I play it and don't do nothing. <laughs> her hair is really pretty. I love this thank hair. You, and the, 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 um, is that like a glitter? I yeah. Really yeah. Pretty. Thank you so much. Really um, pretty. Makeup artist from New Orleans. Oh, did it? it? Okay. That's why I'm a really Oh, that's what I asked you. I hear a little, little bit of the accent. Yes. You haven't got our Texas twang yet, huh? Not yet. I've been here only three years. I'm okay. Still, I'm okay. still new. Well, what moved you here? Uh, well, mm, want to change? Yeah, I did want to change, but what pushed me to change mm -hmm. was I lost my oldest son in 2017, Rashad, and he passed away at nine years old, oh. and he was making ten within two more months because he passed in August. Okay. And his birthday was in November. Oh. Yeah, he caught a I'm virus so from sorry. the beach. It's okay. The A virus, or not, not the, not the, our virus. the flesh oh, bacteria. Really? Yeah, we went to Biloxi Beach for the first time for Memorial Day mm -hmm. weekend in 2016. Mm -hmm. 
from there shutting down his bone marrow. So. Wow, I am yeah. so sorry to hear that. And I don't mean to make this night a sad night, but yes. I, I do. He's here. That's exactly, exactly, exactly. <laughs> and um, do you have any other babies? Yes, okay. I do. I have uh, three other kids. Okay, They're okay. 12, 9, and 5. Okay, and so everybody's in Houston? Yeah, everybody's here. Okay, okay, cool. My mom and I are still in New Orleans. Okay, okay. Well, welcome to Houston. Thank you. Okay, I now you not know you not no Saints fan, right? You're a Texans fan, right? I don't really do this. <laughs> you don't do the football? Girl, I don't know nothing about football. My mom I just know we about heart attack. She does Saints. And they lose here. over and over. I'm sorry. No, no. <laughs> you did a little bit of shade. Just a little bit. A little. <laughs> I don't know nothing about football, but. I live in Houston, so I feel like I should be going for the Houston, Texas. But yeah, it's all good. Go. It's all I mean, good. It's it all good. It but welcome to Texas, and I'm sorry to hear about your son. But Thank yes, he is here with you everywhere. It's a pleasure for to be here. Definitely. I'm very grateful to be noticed for absolutely. To watch. I appreciate um, that. So where do you do the hair? Your your hair at? Let me ask you this: Do you only do wigs, or do you weaves, and do you other do other things, or just the wigs? I I specialize mostly in my bobs. People okay. really like my bobs, but I do traditional sew-ins, frontal closures. I'm into the wigs now mm -hmm. because I'm new to this area on the north side. Gotcha. But um, I do the wigs and ship them out for the most part so oh. I can expand and get out here to see. Okay. Really okay. Well, so cool. That's cool thing is, Van, the lady that owns this facility, just was talking to me and she's thinking about making this a a beauty shop where I can have different rooms. So. Okay. That'd be plug. Nice. Got I your plug. Got your plug. Yeah. Um. So, what made you what made you go like start liking to do hair? I used to watch my grandmother do it a lot. Oh, that's I right. Mean, you yeah. said your grandma did. Yeah, growing up, growing up, my grandmother, uh, she had her own salon inside of the house, so I was there a lot. Okay. And I started to play with mannequins and all her stuff that was yeah, around. Yeah, right. From there, I just grew the passion of it. I, I love it. Oh. Did you get your hair pressed back in the day? Oh, you too young. You too young to know about pressing hair. I'm I didn't my get age. my press. I was too young to know about it. Okay, yeah, okay, but okay. I didn't get, I never got my got hair, hair pressed. Press. Okay. But okay. I did my first roll around on my cousin. Uh -huh. At the age of 10. And it was really? so silky and beautiful. Wow. Yes. Okay, so that's when you kind of knew you had something. Yes, it's okay. a feel. Okay. It can't be taught. Well, and you, you have, and you have to have like a passion for it. Even, even if you do go to school. But I've been, yeah. people have passed that little test and got that little certificate and they still yeah. can't do no hair. I'm sorry, y'all. Yeah, okay. uh, <laughs> there's just something about that. Um, so, what did you think when De Leon called you to say that you were going to be honored? First, I had to check it out to make sure it wasn't nothing. <laughs> I'm being honest. I get it. I had to check it out to make sure it wasn't no scam. Uh -huh. Kidnapping. <laughs> You know, I watch things in Texas. No, it's a bit different. I'm always saying, I don't want nobody to put me in a trunk. That's what I always think about. One of my biggest fears. Yes. Okay, so I ain't the only one. You know, they got that little thing now. You can pull it in when you're in the trunk. I don't want to yeah. go in the trunk at all. I don't now even I know, know where you can. Girl, it's a little white thing and it glows in the dark. I just checked it out. <laughs> yeah. I pull it out. That's good. So we don't get put in the trunk because we little. So we yeah. put in the thing. Just yeah. chuck us in the trunk. I always say that. That is so fun. Somebody else thought about that. Besides. That is. But, that is. I feel the same way. That's what I'm saying about yeah. it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, um,. So once you found out he wasn't a scam, did you feel great about it? Yeah, I did feel great about it. Um, once he did call me and spoke with me, asked me a little bit about my background mm -hmm. and whatever, I felt it was legit. And from there, I was kind of iffy about it, but mm -hmm. then I had to get back in spirit because, like, each level I mm -hmm. take up since my son been gone, right. I get in, I get emotional a bit just because yeah. he's not here, but I know he said spiritually, so Definitely. I had to, I had to really make myself get up. So if you have, I would, I would, it would be fair to say you have good days and bad days. I do. I have mostly good. Okay, good. Because I feel it. So. Okay, you feel it's fair. That's definitely, definitely. Yeah. Okay, are your other kids doing okay? Yeah, they're doing okay. They um, they see a counselor here and there. They go through their little phases up and down. And okay. Okay. Stand in for them. Pray about them. Pray every morning. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, I he is here and he is here cheering on his mama yes, to doing bigger, better things. And um, guys, I want you, I'm sorry, tell me the name one more time. Amazing Bree. Amazing Bree. Amazing Bree. Great name, right? Well, y'all check Amazing Bree out with her wigs, her closures, her frontals. And then look at this. You know, right? <laughs> so um, congratulations on being Thank the ones you. to watch today. Y'all go stand over there. Let me show them your little outfit because it's just cute. You can't go the way. You can't make that go to waste.
There you go. Look at her, y'all. This is cute. Wait, but where'd she go? Right here. There you go. <laughs> thank y'all, everybody. Right, thank you. Congratulations, thank you though, on being a one to watch. And I wish you the best with your business and everything else. Okay, thank you so Bye. much. Bye. Nice to meet you. My name is Layla Miner. Okay, Layla. Uh, what do you do? Talk to us. I'm a makeup artist. I've been a makeup artist for nine years. Wow. So this makes my ninth year. Awesome. This is a perfect timing, huh? Yes. Now, what made you get into doing makeup? My love for art. Okay. And really just trying to figure out what it was that I'm, I was good at at the time. Uh -huh. yeah. And I found it and I stuck with it. Okay. So. So are you making up your friends and stuff like that? Is that how you started? Friends, cousins. Yes. Um, People that my friends know, uh -huh. just practicing with different faces. Right, and right. then once I built the confidence uh -huh. in my work and I felt like, okay, I could really do this, mm -hmm. then I pushed myself out there and it worked for me. And because I want other future entrepreneurs or there are people that want to take that step, what made you throw yourself out there? You have to just do it. What made me throw myself out there was having to figure something out. My bills needed to be oh, paid. Oh. <laughs> Yes. Okay. And I was looking around like, what am I going to do? Yeah. And I had to pray about it. And I was like, God, like I see everybody has something going for them. Yeah. What do I have that that I ha I can have going for me? Yeah, yeah. So God reminded me of my love for art. Because mm -hmm. as a teenager, I used to paint. I used to draw. Oh, okay. Um, I was into the create theater arts. Okay. Everything about oh, art. Right. What's something that you love? Okay. Yeah. Okay. So um, one night, I just found myself in the mirror putting on makeup. <laughs> and it was up. <laughs> it was up since then. Oh, well, that's cool. So do you have a lot of uh, good support, a good support system? Yes, That's I do. something that mm -hmm. we all tr need to have for yeah. owning this business. Okay. Mm -hmm. So how long have you been doing it for as a career now? As a career, it's been nine years. Okay, okay, nine years. okay. So I'm, I'm thinking that you just got into this. So no, she's a pro. But look at her beautiful makeup, y'all. Master all makeup that, artist. All that, um, all that nice, uh, what is it? Natural. I like the, yes, the natural look. Thank so, you. um, so prom time. Do you get a lot of it prom time? I get some girls for the prom, but I mostly get the brides. Really? Okay. I mostly get the brides. They okay. always want me to beat their face for their wedding. So oh, I feel like it's a beautiful thing. Not only is prom like a special moment, but also weddings. Definitely, because definitely. that com also comes once, once in your life, and it's, it's huge. Yes. It's big, and there's a big party involved. So okay. it's just an honor for me to be able to beat somebody's face exactly. for that special day. You get to stand back and look at, oh, look at what I did. Yeah. Let me ask you this. Um, what made you, what do you like most about doing that? Seeing how happy they are mm -hmm. and how inspired they are because whenever they're happy about their big day and everything's going well for yeah. them because you know brides can be bridezilla yes 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 <laughs> so if everything is going well for them and they love how they look when you love how you look you feel good as you look absolutely so, absolutely Okay, it's okay. a beautiful thing. Uh -huh. So, what did? How did you feel when De Leon gave you that call to say you're gonna be honored? I was in shock, but at the same time, my prayer life has uh -huh. already prepared me for times like this. Yeah. I was already like being prepared to just know you're gonna be rewarded for this. So, I'm here yes. and I'm happy and I'm excited. Yes, and I'm excited for you too. Thank you. Um, do you have any last words that you want to say to everybody before we... Follow me on Instagram at Minor Details Beauty. I also have a lash line, so if you want to check that out, I also have my lash line there. Okay, okay. Well, y'all, check and check her out and check out her Instagram page. I'm going to have her repeat it again. Um, I, I'm going to get her to write it so I can know it because I'm old and I don't remember stuff. But um, this is this is what DeLeon does. He loves to have people come out, share what they do, and give them the exposure that they need. And that's why we love him so, so much. Um, tell us again your... Um, my Instagram, my Instagram is minor details minor underscore beauty. Okay. So. And so your Instagram don't do Facebook or any of those. Same thing on Everything. Facebook. Okay, minor mm -hmm. details. I love minor details though. I love that. Thank How'd you. you come up with that? Well, my last name is Minor. And oh. I've always been like a detailed person, just gotcha. like, mm, okay, this needs to be this needs gotcha. to be moved. Yes, and you yes. know. You walk in and see that pain that needs to be yes, moved. Yes. Yes. I'm yeah. always yeah. about <laughs> details. So exactly. minor details yes. just sound like it was a hit for me. So are you a traveling 
makeup artist? Yes, okay, I am a traveling sure. makeup artist. Okay, okay, which is good, which is good. Okay, y'all, check minor details out, and I will definitely be um, checking y'all out later on tonight with some other of our honorees. Thank you, and congratulations you. on being ones to watch Thank on the North you. Side. Thank, Thank you, so guys. Much. That was our last honoree for the evening, but don't worry, because we'll be back next month with even more. But make sure that you go back and check out some of those ladies that talk with us tonight. Check out their businesses. Support them. Either buy their product, visit them, or pass it on to someone else who may could use their business. Guys, each and every month, DeLeon is very passionate about hosting the ones to watch on the north side. He has a new theme every month. And check us out. It's a great event. Grown and sexy. No t-shirts, no ball caps, no shorts. Um, it, it's just a great grown and sexy event. Great night for date night if you want to come out. But just keep your ears and eyes open. And we will be back next month at J. Durham, which is located at 14641 Glade Book Drive at 1960. Again, thanks for watching. And I am Miss Trina of Chat with Trina. Check me out at www.youtube.com slash chat with Trina. Make sure you hit that little bell when you subscribe so you can be notified when I upload a new video.